Welcome, this is the 10 ready practice test for math, integrated math 3, question number 22. We're at the last part of subpart 2. This is kind of a small question, but it's kind of a beast at the same time. Small packages, I guess. What value of t to the nearest hundredth makes the equation 4 times 10 raised to the power of 3t equals 12? True. Now in order to solve this, I'm going to use the quote-unquote opposite of exponential form, which is logarithms. So when I set this up, the generic version of this problem, I generally have a base and then I raise that to an exponent. That's how exponential fun form works. And then it's equal to a value. In this case, the base matters because it becomes the base of the logarithm. and then I'm just flipping it around. So I have x here equals y. So really you sort of, uh, in, in many ways, it's already being promoted here, but then you give it its own spot in the log form. The base is still kind of just riding piggyback to everything else, and the x just kind of moves where you need it to. So that's the nature of it. That's how you flip those around. Now, let's look at the problem in, at hand. In step one, there's no reason to get cute. It's times four of this entire term. So let's just say, how do I get rid of times four? We'll just divide. Much easier to deal with. Now, this is my base. The cool thing about that, and by cool I mean sort of thank goodness for a test purpose it's a log of base 10 which is a very common log it's what your calculator uses when it says the log button it's using a base 10 and then this thing goes from being promoted up here to getting its own spot and then this one gets demoted back down to hanging out with log it's just a bump on a log so let's go ahead and do the calculator work and then you'll be done with it If I can get the calculator to do what I want, which would be a nice change of pace. Here we go. Back for more. And I'll just erase this out of the way. And I'll be ready to go. So now I'm ready to solve uh, this set here. And I should have also mentioned that I'm trying to get this t by itself, so I'll just divide this by 3. So t is equal to, is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to set this log 3. And like I said, you can actually set logs with different base values in the math menu. But there's no reason to here. Log is already with a base 10. It even tells you that 10 to the x is the exponential uh, inverse of it. So blop, blop. Um, so I just put the 3 here and set that up and then divide that by 3, hit enter, and get 0 0.159. And they want me to round to the nearest hundredth. So here's the hundredth. So I look at the one after it. Five or more raise the score. So I am going to raise it. So it's 0 0.16. That is my answer to this question. So. Like I said, at the very end of a section, that's kind of a not a fun problem to do. But try to get your exponential form by itself. And if in any way you can remember, it's in your best interest to say, OK, if I have exponential form, my base is always my base. I'll promote y. Right now, uh, x is equal to y being promoted. So once it's promoted, it moves into its own office. X is just a bump on a log, but the base is always the same. I feel bad if, in case they don't give you a log base 10, go into math if you're using the T84. You can either click down or you can just for somehow, or somehow or other remember that it's A. Hit enter, and then you can just type in all your stuff. Um, so if, where I'd done that before, I could put, whoops, log is base 10 and then 3 and then I'll divide all that by 3 and I'll get the same answer so
There you go. Number 22.